you were tuned in to G5 Jeff TV, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the share button as you come on in. Follow your boy on Instagram and Twitter at Box with G5 Jeff TV. Also, the website, G5 Jeff TV.com, the podcast, the Boxing Plug podcast, and G5 Apparel is coming your way. Now, one of the best young fighters in the world, Shakur Stevenson has announced that he's going to be vacating his 126 pound title and he's going to be moving up to 130 pounds now Shakur Stevenson has done quite a bit in his career in 14 fights he's a 126 pound champion and for anybody that knows anything about boxing you know that Shakur Stevenson was a big 126 he was big for the weight class and Shakur Stevenson was the first guy to fight on the ESPN top rank series uh, post COVID. Well, not post COVID, but the first fight since COVID started. And he fought that fight at 130, got a six round stoppage, vicious body shot. Y'all know me. Y'all know I love my body shots. You know what I'm saying? Inside the boxing ring. And Shakur Stevenson looked big at 130 like he's a just a growing kid so before his career is up he'll probably be at probably 140 for sure but Shakur Stevenson is going up to 130 pounds and there's some fights for him there's definitely some fights for him at 130 but I know they were talking about on ESPN um and it's kind of interesting to hear Andre Ward talk about Shakur Stevenson's future plans on their broadcast but those guys was actually asking was he being moved too quick or you know should he take his time and you know and just enjoy the process I'm like Shakur Stevenson's a champion like he's a champion at 14 and 0 like he's a champion so he can move however he want to move this boxing business is all about matchmaking it is all about matchmaking at the end of the day. And if Shakur Stevenson is matched up correctly and he has the most powerful team behind him between Bob Arum, Jay Prince, Andre Ward, he consistently trains with Terrence Bud Crawford in his camp. And Shakur Stevenson travels all over the place and gets good sparring. And I mean, as you can see in the thumbnail, he was in the gym in Philly with uh, Jerron Boots in his um, Rasheem Jefferson. You know what I'm saying? Like, So he gets all types of work from all over the place. So it's not a matter of if Shakur Stevenson is, is ready for the big time, big time. It's just if he's matched up correctly and he gets the right matchups, right situations. And with the type of team that he has... I don't see why he wouldn't be put in that type of position at the end of the day. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section. G5Jeff TV, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. Please share this video, support your boy. Support good content at all times. I appreciate y'all. Peace.